at what rate of compound interest will a sum of rupees 400 become rupees 441 after two years so here a sum of rupees 400 has been deposited in a bank for a period of two years and at the end of two years the amount that the person is receiving is rupees 441 now this amount includes the principal plus the interest gained during these two years so this is the first year and this is the second year now we have to find out the rate of compound interest which is r percent such that the amount of 400 will become 441 in a period of two years so we know that for compound interest amount is equal to principal multiplied by 1 plus r by 100 to the power of n now let's replace these with the actual values so amount is 441 the principal is 400 r is unknown and n is 2 so r let's take this 400 on the other side so it becomes 441 divided by 400 is equal to 1 plus r by 100 square now let's try to express this part the left hand side in terms of square so we have to find x divided by y such that x square by y square is equal to 441 by 400 now of course there are various ways to find out square roots of numbers so 441 square root will be x and 400 square root will be y but by just observation we can easily say that these numbers are 21 square by 20 square 20 square is easy 400 you know 20 multiplied by 20 two twos are four and two zeros 400 now 441 so an interesting fact is that 12 square is 144 this is very easy to remember and the inverse so if you reverse these two numbers so 21 square is equal to you have to reverse these numbers so it is 144 instead of that you reverse these numbers so 441 so 21 square is 441 so x will be 21 and y is 20 so or 21 square by 20 square is equal to 1 plus r by 100 whole square or 21 by 20 whole square is equal to 1 plus r by 100 square so what this means is that we can take square root on both the sides of the equation so we get 21 by 20 is equal to 1 plus r by 100 or so r by 100 is equal to 21 by 20 minus 1 so let me continue here so or r by 100 is equal to 21 minus 20 taking the lcm as 20 so r by 100 is equal to 1 by 20 or r is equal to 100 by 20 to 5 is a 10 so r is equal to 5 percent